Let me talk to you about footrests. Uh, footrests are very important to add to a shower stall that is tight and uh, you need a place to step up either to shave your legs or wash your feet. Uh, they're multifunctional. So what you want to know first is what the height is. So the finished height of these from your shower floor should be 14 inches. That's that's the best, seems to be the best height. Now obviously if you're a little bit taller, it could be a, an inch or two higher. If you're a little shorter, it could be an inch or two shorter. That being said, you do need to take into consideration the type of uh, shower floor you're doing and the type of float method you're doing or however you're waterproofing your shower. So in our case, we float. We do hot mop our shower pans. That adds three inches. When you're talking about rough framing this in, this, uh, this actually is built out of uh, wood framing and the top of the seat here, you need to deduct that and add that, if that makes sense. Um, but finished height, if you tell your contractor, finished height should be 14 inches. Um, we also think that 12 inches across the front seems to be about the right um, size. So that, that means that it's 10 inches on these both back walls. Also, as you can see here, we have some accent bands. You do wanna consider this is gonna be in the way of possibly in the way of something if you have uh, multiple layers of accents. So, and you can actually build them off a bench seat too, um, where if you uh, look at some of my other videos, you can see that we did a uh, footrest off of a bench seat and it actually looks really cool. So don't be afraid to do that as well. If you have any questions and you're in the Southern California area, feel free to give us a call. Thanks.